A very good evening and it's now time to catch the latest on what's been making headlines in the world of business. My name is Abi Agina. Financial services regulators are cracking down on irregular money movement with ties to terrorism-related companies and individuals. Following the central bank's move to shut down 13 cash transfer firms and forex bureaus, the Insurance Regulatory Authority has ordered insurance firms to cancel all insurance policies for individuals and companies that the government deems are associated with terrorism organizations. KTN's Michael Karanja has that report. On Tuesday, the government, through a special gazette notice, put out a list of 85 individuals and companies it felt were linked to financing terrorism activities. This saw the Central Bank of Kenya freeze accounts for those on the list, as well as suspending the licenses of 13 cash to far farms. The list features hotels and transport companies, as well as human rights organizations, which the government said had been picked following reports from the Financial Reporting Center. The Financial Reporting Center comprises of regulators such as CBK, the Insurance Regulatory Authority, the Capital Markets Authority, and the Retirement Benefits Authority. And today the IRA also issued a circular to all insurance firms, directing them to terminate all insurance policies for those on the list. In a statement, the insurance regulator said it was using Regulation 11, Clause 3 of the Process of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act, which requires reporting institutions to take appropriate action by, amongst others, freezing until further notice the property or funds of designated persons. By suspending the policies, bus companies named in the list will cease to operate as they cannot be on the road without valid insurance covers. For individuals, their policies will be terminated, leaving them exposed and thus cannot get any claims arising from their policies. In his address on Wednesday, Treasury Principal Secretary Kamau Thuge said those gazetted one link to general terrorism financing with investigations underway to investigate the link. Based on the law, international law as well as our law, uh, this, is, uh, this is what we call a local list. There's an international list uh, which we also get and the last time we got it was in March. And once we get that list, we circulate it to, uh, to the financial regulatory bodies. And uh, the process is then they, 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 they freeze the assets of persons or entities included in that list. The Retirement Benefits Authority and the Institute of Certified Public Accountants are also in receipt of the circular. The Financial Reporting Center was established in 2012 to deal with, amongst others, financial crimes such as money laundering and funding of terrorism. Michael Karanja, KTM Business.